Okay, this is task 10. And uh, for task 10 at the beginning, you will need some of the information that you wrote down in task 9, particularly the notes in the major scale for each of the uh, keys that are listed there. Um, but uh, we'll come to that in a moment. First of all, look at the bottom of the sheet. It says cadences. Cadences are harmonic devices that make the music sound finished or unfinished at the end of a musical phrase or section. By choosing chord 5, immediately followed by chord 1, this creates a... and then there's a blank space to fill in. And uh, I'm going to say to you that this creates a perfect cadence, which makes the music sound finished. By choosing chord 1, immediately followed by chord 5, this creates an imperfect cadence, which makes the music sound unfinished. So, as a composer, if you've got absolute control um, over all of your mu music, but especially over the ends of phrases and the ends of sections, then um, there are different tools that you can use to help to communicate your music more. And being able to make something sound as if it's definitely sounding finished or definitely sounding like it wants to continue is something that's very important. Now, in each of our keys, whichever key that you're going to work in, um, it's really important, therefore, to be able to uh, work out the notes in the, um, the chords of chord 1 and chord 5. So I'm going to give you two examples, but to complete task 10, you will need to complete um, these for every key on the sheet. So if we're in G major, we've got G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. Now, 1 in this key uh, is the first one. So the note 1 in the key is G. And chord 1 in this key is G major. Chord 1 in any major key is always major. The three notes in chord 1, well, how do we work it out? We play 1, miss 1, play 1, miss 1, play 1. So the three notes in the G major chord are G, B, and D. On the other side of the black line, it says note 5 in this key. Well, note 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So note 5 is D, just like chord 1. Chord 5 in a major key is always major, so chord 5 is D major. The three notes in chord 5, well, we find the D. We play 1, miss 1, play 1, miss 1, play 1. So it's D F sharp, and whatever comes after G. So you can look at the start of the line again to know that what comes after G is A. So the three notes in the D major chord are D, F sharp, and A. Let me give you one more example here. So let's look at the scale of E flat. If you can't remember which flats are in the key signature, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Uh, there's three flats in the key of E flat major, so you need to remember battle ends and down goes, etc. So battle ends and, and there you go. That's the th that's the notes of the E flat major scale. So note one in that key is E flat. Chord one is E flat major, and the three notes in chord one are E flat. So here we go, play one, miss one, play one, miss one, play one, E flat, G, and B flat. Across the other side of the line, note five in E flat major, one, two, three, four, five, is B flat. And chord five in this key, therefore, is B flat major, the chord of B flat major. Which three notes are in the chord of B flat major? Play one, miss one, play one, miss one, play one. So we end up with B flat, D, and what comes after E flat? It's an F. B flat, D, and F. And that gives you a start with task 10. As I say, to complete the task, you need to complete the entire page.